Are we live, pal? Hello? Is this thing on? Ah. Ooh, I've been waiting all morning to sip on this coffee. Been holding off on it, trying to savor it. So I have some for when I start the stream. Good, good. good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hi. Eat the cheese boy. Everybody's so happy about the cheese boy being here. Me most of all. Yes. Yes. Cheesy boy. Cheesy boy. Yeah. How are you, sleepy cheese boy? You missed everybody. Everybody's missed you. The camera loves you. Oh, Mimo's boy is here. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Yeah, yeah. you holding this up? You want everyone to kiss the paw? Hmm? You need to kiss the paw? Kiss the paw. Kiss the paw. Yeah. Yeah. That's my boy. That's a good boy. That's a good old boy. Mm. He stole my headphones and everything this morning, this boy. He's wild. What do you think this is? You think this is your show? It is. Cheese boy, look. This is you. This is the stand-in cheese boy. While you're gone. It's not as cute as you, cheese boy, but he's pretty cute. He's a pretty cute. Yes, for those of you that don't know, Frank, who I believe is in the chat room, yes he is, Frank B created this beautiful little mini cheese boy that sits on my desk and keeps me company while this boy maybe can't be here all the time. But he can be here right now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I was way overdue with cheese boy visit. And now we get to spend, oh, so many days together. I'm so excited. Oh. Mm -hmm. His mama knew that it had been a long time since I'd seen him and brought him over to come and stay with his Mima and visit his sister as his puppy and his Aunt Charlie and his Aunt Shana. Because we all miss him. And he needs to spend a few days with us. Because we're overdue. Ain't we, boy? Ain't we? And we gonna have a good time. Hmm. We gonna have a good time. Ain't we, boy? Yeah. 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 Is standing fine. He had met it once before. There's a really cute picture of him staring nose to nose with it. It was really cute. Um, good morning, good morning, everyone. I'm sorry if I missed any uh, messages coming in. Hello. We are hopping this morning. If I miss anybody, I apologize. Who was here first? Ty Five and RJ Ramos. Good morning. Howdy. How are you? Michael, Frank, Stephanie, Matt. Raquel is Raquel 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 Raquel. Um, who else we got? Laylee, good morning to you. Coach Marv is here. 
How's it going, Coach? McDonald's McMuffin, not to be confused with McDonald's McGriddle. Um, Haley, good morning. You have arrived just in time. Just in time. Monarch is here. Good morning. Red Dog, what's up? Helen. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, boy, we have to get some little snoot butter for you in a little bit. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta make sure that snoot doesn't get too dry. Yeah. I <laughs> forgot how melty cheese gets when it's being... <laughs> yeah, you end up with just a... A, a block of cheese that melts. <laughs> How did he get the ni the nickname Cheese Boy? Well, well, someone looked at this boy and said, "That boy, oh, oh, he just threw his head against me. It was precious." Okay. Someone said that boy is made out of a block of cheese. And he is. We used to, like, he used to, we call him, what, like a meatloaf. Um, we've given him several nicknames over the years. But the truth is, his consistency is very cheesy. He's very much some cheese. It's like if you took a warm block of Asiago cheese and made it just warm. Right? Like, it would hold together a little bit. But if you were to, like, squish it, it would just, it would just squish. And that's this boy. That's this boy. Um, care to tell everyone of our pirate adventure? Well, you guys know I've been talking about Sea of Thieves, right? And how I got the girls into it. And some of you guys that maybe have watched my stream for a few years might remember Sea of Thieves because I did play it quite a bit about three years ago. Um, two, three years ago, I was really into it with my brother, and we had a really good time. However, Sea of Thieves has, uh, kind of had a resurgence. They released new content, they've done a lot of updates, they've, they've really worked on the game a lot, and this, like, the season one just released. So it's a big deal. And I've been trying to get everybody on, and I got the BRE on, and I have been telling RJ City that he might like... Sea of Thieves if he gave it a chance. And he did. And I am happy to say that he is the world's uh, saddest, poorest pirate that has ever pirated anywhere. Um, but he's a great first mate and we've had several adventures. And if you guys want, maybe we can do some videos of that if you guys would be interested in that. And maybe... Maybe if I really, if I'm really nice and I promise not to be too mean to him while playing, um, maybe one of these days he would jump on a live stream while I play Sea of Thieves and we could pirate together uh, live streaming. So if that's something you guys would be interested in, well, he's here in the chat room. Tell him now. Just tell him if that's what you want. But at the very least, I think we got to make some videos because this game is gold. You guys don't understand. It, it's not just like, oh, it's a pirate game. It is. I don't know how to explain it. You just gotta watch it. You just gotta watch it. But please imagine RJ City as a pirate. Um, he's very good. He, he, <laughs> he's, he's a great first mate. That's what I'll say. Yeah, he was a meatloaf. That's what it was. He was a meatloaf till he started exercising and exercising and became svelte. Um, yeah, he like trimmed up, but he's still squishy, you know, is a weird, is a weird consistency. So. Puppy drums, puppy drums. Stanny boy is a boy made out of cheese. Stanny boy is a boy made out of cheese. Mm 
It is not similar to Puzzle Pirates. Minus Puzzle It's, 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 it's really difficult to explain. Even when the BRE was like, what kind of game is it? I'm like, uh, you're a pirate. And even something as simple as like driving the ship requires communication and everyone talking together. And it's like, you can pretty much do what you want. It's like, if you were really were just a pirate dropped in an ocean of islands, it would be like, go be a pirate. What do you feel like doing? Do you want to get treasure? Do you want to hunt skeletons? Do you want to go see if you can find sunken ships? Do you want to just go see other players and just, just get, you know, do you want to go do that? And you can be nice. You don't have to pirate, but just understand that there's pirates and that everyone's probably going to try and kill you and steal your stuff. Um, but it's great. And he makes a great first mate. But I would like to play... I would like to play some with RJ City, and we're at least going to make some videos. So there, I said it. I already said it. We're, we're making videos. But I want to get him on a live stream. I want to... Once I'm done with RimWorld, I'll probably play some Sea of Thieves on stream so you guys can see it. Because even solo Sea of Thieves, like, it's made to be played with a crew, for sure. Right? But even solo Sea of Thieves, being a solo pirate, it's like oddly relaxing and then but then also really it can be really stressful and scary right but at other times it's just so, such a relaxing and beautiful game and it's like man this is the pirate's life is for me i just want to sail around get treasure look at the islands you know you can have pets now you can just fish oh yeah you can fish now i spent a lot of time yesterday just fishing because nobody wanted to play or could play. And I was like, I'm just gonna fish. So I would just sail from island to island, just picking up different fish and bait. And uh, a guy tried to kill me and then we became friends. Which is, uh, that happens a lot in Sea of Thieves as well. Like everyone starts off all aggro and then when you start playing music on the hurdy uh, they, 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 they start playing too. And it's like, see, not everyone needs to be like that. Where's this boy going? You trying to scooch? Where you trying to scooch? I feel your little butt scooching. I feel your little butt scooching. What do you want? I love this boy. All right, so who's ready for some RimWorld though? Enough talking about RJ City and enough talking about Sea of Thieves because that's not what we're playing today. All right, we're playing some RimWorld today because we have a we have a we have a village now. We have a little village, and it's full of some middle-aged women. And uh, I think it, I think that things are going, you know, going quite well. Oh, this boy, this boy. Oh, good morning, Stacy Lynn. Hopefully more uh, than an adequate day back at you. And hopefully this cheese boy can help you achieve that. Everyone kiss the paw. Kiss the paw. Kiss, kiss the paw. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, Stacy, remember the counter to... Yeah. The full Nelson. Do you know how to counter the full Nelson, boy? Ha! <gasps> oh, he's fighting it. Oh, yeah. Ah! Uh, 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 no, he's gonna. Oh, no, oh, oh. <laughs> Woo! That was a good counter, boy. Oh, thank you. That was a good counter, though, boy. That's good, Cam. You didn't have to use the desk against me, though. 
My goodness. My goodness. Goodness. Okay. Hey. Ooh, Haley downloaded Rim World. Oh dang. Yeah, it's um here. Let me just before we start too, let me let me say this about Rim World and anybody that's playing it. Um when I first started playing Rim World, okay, like years ago, I think it was around 2015 maybe when this game was starting to come out. It was like out in the early alpha. Ow, shit, I didn't hit it that hard, but it was not good. Um, so it took me, I, there was a streamer that I really liked that was playing RimWorld. And I was like, oh, I'm going to play this. Um, so I downloaded it. And it took me at least four or five different attempts where I would start a game. I would start playing. I would try to choose. Like, I, I didn't know anything about anything. Okay? Completely overwhelmed. Only what I had seen that guy do in his stream. And I could, I just, I died. My, my, my colonists died. My, I couldn't build anything. No one would do what I was telling them to do. I had no idea how to manage a town. Like it was just, I didn't know what to do. And I got really frustrated and I would just quit. So I would play for a little bit. I would play for like an hour and then I would quit. And then I would... You went down or are you trying to get cozy? Um, and I did this repeatedly where it was like, I can't, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I need to do. I don't know, like, it was really frustrating. But something, somewhere along the lines of that fifth or sixth attempt, I got it. And I will say, and I did watch a lot of YouTube videos. I watched the streamer and I tried to learn because there were like so many little tips and things that's like, I would have never figured this out if someone hadn't told me, you know? Uh, so don't feel bad if you get discouraged and you're like, I don't know what to do. Just quit, come back to it in a little bit, try again. It, it, it eventually it will click and you'll be like, aha. Like, and then you start to understand the game and how to do it. Hey, Art's back. What up, Art? Good morning. Good morning. This is just sweet, chill boy. This boy just wants to sleep. Uh, this boy just wants to sleep. Good morning, Jacqueline. Welcome. What up, Alpha Dog? And yep, we're playing RimWorld. Speaking of, let's just uh, let's just jump right into it. Let's just jump, let's just jump right into it. We're gonna load the game. Thieves Heisten. Thieves Heisten. We're the thieves of Highworth, remember? Oh, the put down her clan. And I don't know, I don't know what the people of the prism are, but I feel like that's what I made as well, but sometimes it's fun to load up those old saves and just see what what's left, you know? Sometimes. Guys, I got a new keyboard and mouse. So if it sounds really loud, it's on purpose. <laughs> got a puppet drums. All right. We named Barracuda Barracuda yesterday. Remember that? Bar Ooh, Barracuda. Okay, wait. Hello, Barracuda. Look at her. Look at her. All right, we're building our little stone shop. Do we have a, um, yeah. I have freaking Sea of Thieves music in my head. How sad is that? This is so sad. All right, let's go. Highworth. We are the colony. We are the village of Highworth. And our faction name is Thieves Hoisten. Because we're the thieves. The thieves of Highworth. The Highworthian thieves. And we got Vector out here. A wild man just eating berries and stuff. He's fine for now. He can stay. We've got... I got some hay grass. We got some potatoes. We got some heel root, and we got a little patch of smoke leaf. We got it going on. We got a nice little garden. We're by the river. Um, 
Everybody's doing their job pretty well. We gotta get some batteries and some more power. I have this one windmill and two batteries. And it's okay, but I need more. We're definitely gonna need more. I might even build like a little something, 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 something. Clickety clackety, clickety clackety, clickety clackety, yeah. I love it. God, it feels good too. Let's make sure everybody, what are we doing? Everybody's doing things. I use the things I build for them. It's so sweet. All right, so part of the problem is we're really running out of space to store things, so we're gonna have to do some stuff. We really need to mine in here, clear this area out. We do at least have a bathroom, all right? So they don't have to, they don't have to defecate outside. That's right, get back to work, everyone. Can someone build the stonecutter's table? Who's my best builder? Uh, harp is pretty good, but Barracuda's actually better. She just doesn't have as much of a passion for it, which is an interesting concept. Higher skill, not as much passion. You know, these are the things we gotta think about. And then I'll build my stonecutter's table and then we can start. Oh no! Barracuda's already sick? One of your colonists has gotten sick from fibrous mechanites. I hate fibrous mechanites. What happened just now? What happened just now? What happened just now? but I want to hit your little head. There we go. Now. Okay. Yes, big sigh, boy. Big sigh. Ooh, Barracuda. Harp, can you heal? Yeah, let's tend to old Barracuda. It puts her in pain. It's just, it just sucks, man. This really sucks. Solar panel's finished, good. All right, now let's look at what else we can do. Salt conserving methods. of us playing Faz with Rhonda. That was a great one. That was an old episode. I think that was like before Christmas maybe even. That was that was a while back, but it was still so good. Poor Rhonda. She really struggles in Faz. All we wanted to do was just get her through a level without dying and we still really couldn't do it. My ammo, my ammo. That's what I need is ammo. Really need some ammo. Let's do smithing. 
I guess, and get machining. Is that what makes it? We make machining and we can make gunsmithing. And we can make ammo. Roll back. Machine. We're gonna go smithing because I feel like that's like uh, the right one. Hopefully we can get some ammo soon. Spun off C, what's up man? I feel like it has been a while, but but then again, like maybe not, you know? Maybe it just feels that way. Either way, I'm glad you're here, man. And yes, yes, um. So who watching right now is watching Rim World for the first time? For well, uh, this run. If you watched like I, day before yesterday was the first time I played it. I, if that's what I'm saying, is this like the first time you've seen me play Rim World, or do we mainly have Rim World veterans in the chat? I'm curious. Yeah. Um, okay, that's fine. Let's look at perhaps power. Let's build us a solar uh, panel. There we go, maybe perhaps here. Is that protected? Can I? Oh, yes, I can. Amazing. Actually, though, can't I put solar panels in their path? I feel like I can. Let's try. I think that should work. sure you can put solar panels in the path of the windmills and it does not obstruct them like other things. Important to notice. All right, add bill. So we're gonna make granite blocks uh, do until X, do until X. We'll keep a surplus of 150 granite blocks at all times. Stone, do until X. Same thing. And then I think we got also slate handy. Was slate one of the blocks we have handy? Or is it just limestone and granite? Limestone, granite, limestone, granite. Yep, slate's one of the ones we got as well. And slate. I like having a variety of stone because they have different strengths and weaknesses, each stone. You wouldn't want to make your walls out of slate. If you know anything about slate, it's a very fragile rock, okay? Oops. But, for things that are inside, like, I used it to make these toilets and their doors, right? So it's like, use the good stone for building your walls, use the less good stone for building other things, you know? Mia, can you do this? Yeah, we need to make some more. So we can finish building these. Yeah. There we go. That's right. Keep working, ladies. Keep working, ladies. Keep it going. What's 
this steel urn deconstruct that. Steel. All that just right there. Makes you want to play Stardew Valley? I can see that! I can see that. I've experienced that where I, I've gone back and forth. Because they are, while they are wildly different games, there are certain things that are similar. So I completely understand um, that, that urge. All right, we are barely missing some granite. Where's some granite, granite, granite? Can we have some granite? Anybody got any granite? We got a lot of steel. We got a lot of other stuff. We got no granite. Granite, there's some granite. Is this granite? That's limestone. This, that's some granite. So we're gonna, I'm gonna mine out a little corner here. Okay. Once we finish doing the mining inside the base. All right, Mia, I want you to clear your prioritized work. You've been working very hard. You can take a break. Yep. Good deal on the solar panel. Thank you, no. I thought I thought I was correct on that, but it, it, I was just like, am I imagining that? No, no, it's it's correct. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is nice. Here we go. Now we're actually getting our space opened up here a little bit. I'm gonna keep cleaning this up as I expand. I'm gonna build like a little bathroom area over here. Hey! Vector, you can't eat our food! This is unacceptable. Am I gonna have to build a... I don't... I don't approve. I'm about to build a freaking... building a prison. Well, not a prison. I'm building a- Oh, cheese boy's out my lap. All right, that's okay, boy. So, I'm gonna build a little room, and I'm gonna arrest Vector, because you- I'm sorry, you cannot, uh, do this. You can't. You cannot do this. And then we go power or heat, right? Where's heat? Temperature. Lights. food vector i'm sorry you don't get to just come in our house first of all oh there was an opening that's why no wonder he got in not a side construction no. nah, man. i'm eventually gonna make them a bathtub too because they have to do that simple meals right away that's okay Here's what I'm gonna do because I don't have the granite to finish these. I'm gonna go ahead and use limestone to finish my my wall here.
sleeping spot. Set it to prisoners. Now. Now. All right, who's my best fighter? Ooh, Barracuda. All right, Barracuda, get yourself ready and arrest this man. 38% chance? Jesus. Really? Listen, that's not good. That's really not good at all. What the hell, dude? All right, let's finish building this. What the is that, a porcupine? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta hurry up with the whole, seal up our base, this is bad. We got random shit just wandering in. Including... Pause. There you go. Unpause. Look at that! What? She let that porcupine out. That's very nice. Yeah, we need to make sure we are roofed all of this. All of this has to be roofed. All right, we got a little, we got a little prison over here. It's not really a prison, but you get the idea. All right, add bill. Let's set our food. Can I copy paste this? cooking on um, burn Thirty-eight percent chance. I'm terrified. But like, right? Let's look at him. He's completely naked. This man cannot fight us. Vector. We're arresting Vector. This could go badly. But everyone's inside. So if it goes bad, they're all just gonna punch him to death. Got it? Get it? Ah! Okay. Mia, get up. Punch him to death. Also. Melee, not there. Get him, everyone punch him. Everyone punch him to death. Everyone punch him to death. Punch him, punch him! Get out of our, what are you doing in our house? This is our house. All right, undraft. Barracuda, capture. Yup, yup, yup. Dang, this tribe of women just captured themselves a man, a wild man at that. All right, we'll take good care of him. We'll take good care of him. I, I think we're all right. Yep, we're going to fix him up. Uh, let's look at there. So, not, no interaction. We don't want no interaction. Not release. Not execute. Can we not... Uh, like, talk? Can we... Can, can, can we uh, convince him to join us? How do I do that? Ah! Whoopsie! Well, 
Why can't I, like, convince him to... Either way, it's good practice for her to practice her medical stuff and her other things like talking, like wardening, you know? And recruit. Yeah, we should be able to recruit. Why can't I recruit him? Social? He's in extreme pain. Well, you know, he kind of broke into our place and like, Is this a mod? Fucking mod? Because there should be recruit. There should definitely be recruit. Oh god, don't execute. No. Can we not be it? He's hurting pretty bad. Help. He's gonna be fine. Mia, Mia's fully healed. Help. Barracuda, how's your how's him mechanized? Hey, you're okay. He's no longer incapable of walking. Barracuda's coming to feed him. Maybe I have to tame him first. Maybe, maybe. But if you capture them, it's not supposed to. It's still supposed to do that. Two hundred ten. Now, see, considered guilty. I I'm curious once this expires if we'll be able to get him. Whatever, he's fine in there for now. We have enough food to feed him. Like, uh, it's not, it's not a huge deal. We're not at a point where it's like, oh, we can't afford uh, people anymore. So we gotta, you know, whatever. No, no, nothing like that. Harp, can you tend to old Barracuda, please? That's good stuff. Uh oh. A group of pirates from the Missile Squids have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while, then attack. Let's go see. How many? How many? What, one? Old Sev here? You know what? I ain't worried about him. Let him prepare. Literally one guy! <laughs> oh, sir. Oh, no! Oh, you bastards. That These Deodons are horrible. And I need to go pick that one up while I still can and take that. Because that's a shit ton of free food, basically. Oy vey. We'll go get it. We'll go get it after we deal with this guy. No reason to panic. Wild people have to be tamed before they can... Interesting. Handler. Anyone. Animal skill is too low. Every Nobody can tame him, so... We'll just have to keep him for now. It's the fun. Getting their assault. What do you got? Just a club? You gonna come? Oh, a knife. Oh, okay. You showed up with a, a knife and a club. And, but they both suck. Like, come on, man. I'm about to steal your food. I'll tell you that right now. Oh. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. Good morning, Yosh. Just in time to watch us kick the shit out of Sev. Come on, Sev. Mia, what do you got? You got a knife or anything on you? What do you got? Gear? You got literally nothing on you. What the hell are you doing? Where's this knife? Equip it. Good work. All right, Barracuda and Harp, arise. And 
then Mia's ready with her knife. Let's go. Look at him. Oh boy, you dead. You so dead. Come on. You gonna try it? Look at him just bum rushing us. Oh, he got hit. He's hit! He's hit right in the heart. Oh, this man is dead. This man is dead. Yep. He's so dead. He ain't gonna make it. He ain't even gonna make it to us, let alone. What's that? Oh! Well, quickly, strip him. Strip him. Mia, go retrieve this meal. Pick it up outside. Oh. Here, go retrieve this. Uh, haul it. Yep. Doo -doo -doo. Is he dead? Is he dead? Ignite this. One corpses. No colonists' corpses. Only stranger corpses. We burn here. We're gonna burn him. Burn him. That's right. That's right. Fibrous mechanites, it's the best shit, man. I hate that. Now, I need to tame some, some stuff, but. Okay, first things first. This Deodon, are you not hungry? Are you. So it's a good idea to check their hunger if you can. Alright? Um. I want to go... Look, there was horses. I would love to tame some horses. There's a wolf as well. Damn. A stallion. I would love for them to have some horses to ride around. That'd be great. Harp. Go haul that. Me or Barracuda. Go haul that. Now. This should be some free food. Hopefully we don't get eaten. Yeah, we gotta really watch out for these guys. Really, really, really watch out for these guys. It could be real bad. Art. Let's butcher. Harp, can you cook? Once we get all this move or cleared out, I'm gonna um, organize our kitchen a little bit more. I got some ideas. Oh my god, I missed a donation. Don't, don't, don't take it personal if I missed it, Haley. Hold on. Don't take it personal. It happens. It's never on purpose. Also, see, don't, don't in your mind you want to say, oh, they're ignoring me. But, except for a moment that there are other possibilities and that ignoring and not seeing at all are completely different things and come from completely different places. So, don't, don't force a reality that you're afraid of, okay? By, by being like, they're ignoring me. You're, you're forcing a reality that is like what you're, you don't want that. Of course you don't want that. But we don't want that either. I don't want to ignore anyone that is nice enough to actually donate during a stream. That's the last thing I want to do. Um, so, so, it's a good exercise in, um, I think, just acknowledging uh, facts. Okay? I did miss it. I did miss it. Now that I'm, am I paused? Yeah. Let me scroll up. What do we see? What do we see? What do we see? 
Let me see. Let me see. God, it was doing way back. Ah, thank you for being you. I appreciate you. Well, I appreciate you as well, Haley. See, we all learned something here. Thank you so much. Praise the sun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, actually, do praise the sun. Do it, everyone. Just take a second. I'm not joking. And breathe in as deep as you can and like rotate, like open it up and hold it. And I swear to God, when you like relax, you feel better. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you are perfectly healthy. I promise you will feel better after that. There's something about it. There was something like, there's something about also the act of putting your hands above your head. This is like a human thing where there's a reason stuff like, the yes chant, and it's very human nature to want to put our hands in the air. It makes you feel good. It triggers these like feel good emotions. Praise the sun is no different. No difference at all. But Haley, don't, that's not a joke. That's not a joke. That is a, that it's, it's not. It's not a joke. Don't, don't allow, don't, don't do that to yourself. Literally, like, why would you do that to yourself? Um, you gotta rewire your brain and how you communicate with yourself, not just other people, but rewire your brain, how you communicate with yourself, how you look at yourself. That's number one. Forget other people. You've done really good about like, I don't care what other people think. Great, great first step. Second step is how are you, how are you communicating with yourself? Spun off C, the four, a two dollar before twenty to praise it. I'm okay with this. And Miss X, oh my God, thank you guys. Cheers and little coffee cheers. Thank you, Miss X. Thank you, Spun off C. I approve of this. Praise the sun. Praise the sun. All right, now what were we doing? I need to get more coffee, I'm completely out. I have finished the Bulletproof though. Oh, cargo pods. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Chem fuel, oh God. Is that gonna explode though? I feel like that could be bad. I feel like that could be really, really bad. You know what I'm saying? Can we? Store some chem fuel here, maybe. There. Oh shit, where'd it go? Ah, oh, I hate when I lose it in the dark. Oh wait, there it is. I hear a boy snoring just as loud as he can. Yes, I know, Stacy Lynn. We are at 24,000 subscribers. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. You guys, it's so cool. When I started uploading last year around, I think it was like around March. I've had a YouTube channel longer than that and I've been uploading longer than that. But last March, so approaching a year ago, uh, I was like, I'm going, I'm going headfirst into YouTube, right? It always been just kind of like a dumping stream replays and whatever, but I was like, I'm going to actually, and that's why I was like, I'm going to stream on YouTube. I'm going to, I'm going to do YouTube. And I think I was at like five or 6,000 subs at that point, which I thought was amazing considering I had not even really been trying to grow it. I was just like, it was just there. I'm like, it's there. I'm just not really doing anything with it. Um, and since then watching my community grow and get used to it. And like, just what I'm building here, I'm, I'm really happy with. I like it a lot. So thank you guys for being a part of it, as always. Barracuda. Okay, we gotta start organizing a little bit better. He's on edge. Ooh. 
What is wrong with him? He's just brute. Like, he's just freaking out, honestly, dude. I was kind of hoping a slave trader might appear and we can, you know, sell him. What else are we going to do with him? Another Duke Talks. I do need to do another Duke Talks. Someone uh, posted a comment about that the other day. And I was like, the last one I did almost broke me because I recorded for like three and a half hours and then the audio cut out after like 45 minutes. So I did get, I did get some of them answered, but it was so exhausting, like mentally and emotionally to do that and then not have it and then have it just be trash because whatever audio, it's part of the reason I bought a new mic, which works great by the way. Um, but it really broke me and I was just like, ugh. So, it's a good time though. We're at a good point where it's like, yeah, I'm due for a good Duke Talks. There's plenty to talk about, you know? A bingo card. That'd be fun. I saw the RJ City bingo card. Those are funny. I like that. And yes, bulletproof, puppers. Uh, there's plenty. Hoodie on, hoodie off. You could do a lot of different stuff. God, am I gonna have to turn a. put a switch to keep it from over. overloading, maybe? So I can put a little switchboard power switch, which will keep this from overloading, which as you can see, these batteries are really close. And when they overload, they go bzz, bah, and they explode. That was my explosion uh, noise, as I'm sure you heard. So look, we're gonna go build it real quick. All right, and then we turn off. Okay. Uh, hunting, hauling, oh, okay. It's okay. I'll let her haul. Now, I turned off the electricity, or I turned off the power switch, which you can see now, if I highlight it, there's it's disconnected, right? The blue lines. So the blue is the power line, the power conduit. And I have my windmill and I have my solar that is just here, right? But everything else in the base is now running off battery, which means it won't overload it. So you really gotta pay attention to your power until you get it at a good balance. But everything you build, build more power you're going to generate more power you build more things that drain it it's going it, to so it's this constant balance of power management and keeping an eye on it with power switches and stuff is just really important so because these will explode and that's very bad what's happening minor break barracuda what's wrong with you and then fibrous mechanites are rough man they're real rough I like Barracuda's bear hat, though. Barracuda. <laughs> uh, that's good stuff, man. Harp's using the moose hat. I like it. What you got? Hauling a dead otter. All right. She is on it, man. She is collecting. We haven't really had to go hunting very much, which is nice. Oh, shoot. Look at this. Free bear. Hey, you know what? Instead of a otter, haul this bear. That's going to get us a lot more hide and other things. Yeah. Free animals, man. Take them. Take them, take them, take them. Mia is taking care of Vector. I need to find some way to tame some animals, man. All right. Where's some muffalo? Tame. I need to make some kibble. Uh, make kibble. Creature, then make kibble? Yeah, let's put your creatures then make kibble. And then do until X. Keep 200 kibble on hand at all times. And we use, we make that with hay grass and... Hmm. Okay. So 
check it. We gotta make a little hay grass zone here ish. No storage space? What do you mean, no storage space? Clear all. Hey. Hey. We got storage space. We got storage space. Mia, can you harvest? Is this a. It's not there yet. Close. We're getting there. Oh shit. Okay. We gotta get more coffee. And it's 10.30. I've been going for an hour and a half. Usually I go every hour I take a break. But now we're going hour and a half. Hour and a half. RimWorld is a game where I'm like, I'm going to take a break. And then I don't for like forever. So, hello, Vector. You all right up there, man? He's about to break. I thought he lose his shit. Sleep press 830. What? Why are we release? Can we release? What? Okay, look, I think if I release him, I don't think he can get back inside my base because I did just have the walls open. So we're gonna release him because otherwise he, he's gonna go insane, right? I, I don't know, you guys talk about it. Should we release Vector and just let him go on his way? He's worth 830 silver. That's a lot. That's a lot, but I don't know. Let's decide what we're gonna do with Vector. I'm gonna grab more coffee. We can't have him join us because he's wild, all right? So, think about it. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Like this video if you have not done it yet. This goes across the board. Lurkers in the lagoon, new subscribers, new members. Please like the video. It's just a, just a, 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 a little reminder because it's easy to forget something as simple as liking the video. However, it is a huge, huge way to support the stream. I cannot overstate how impactful just liking the video is on my channel and the growth of it. Like, if you ever think like it's not that big of a deal, wrong. Your one like makes a massive difference. So please, 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 um, when you remember, or when I remind you gently, give this video a like, um, and, and thank you again for your watch time. Now, I'll be right back. Just give me a few minutes. Let me go. Just let me, let me, just let me. Back.
Okay, guys, I'm back. Was the music on? I feel bad, sorry. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry, that cheese boy needed to go out and use the bathroom. And I had to get fresh coffee. And then I had to warm it up. And uh, yeah, just took, you know, just took a second. Cheese boy takes priority. That's just how it goes. But what do we decide? We letting him free? We setting him free? Dang, everybody's getting snow. My mom was texting. Well, everybody, everybody like in my family is texting about snow. And I've got Florida. You know, I just, I don't know. I miss it. I know some people hate it and I know it's dangerous and whatever. But I miss it and I'm, that's, I, and I don't care. Tame him. I can't tame him. I don't have anybody with a high enough animal skill. I, but I think someone's close. I think one of them's like level six. But you need to be seven. We got four, five, and six. Jesus. And of course, and she's really close to seven. So I set those muffalo to be tamed. But I gotta make the... Um, kibble first. Or vegetables, which haven't harvested yet. I planted them kind of late. I might not get very much food. The winter's gonna suck. Oh, damn, riderless. Ah. Yeah, dude. If you think that something is wrong with your body... Especially, and like, I don't know what your level of in tuneness with your own body is, but if it's decent at all, then like, you know when something's not quite right. Like, you can just tell. Your body will send you the signals and like, it will communicate it to you. Um, so, yeah, if you fell hard enough, you'd be like, wow, I think I broke something. Definitely go get that checked. Because honestly, dude. Sometimes really simple things can be end up being way worse and could have been so prevented and or, you know, so much um, less severe, you know, if they had just gotten it checked early and like gone with their instinct. They were like, oh, I kind of felt then I ignored it. I put it off for a little bit. And then it's like, oh, my God, well, we wouldn't have had to amputate your leg if you just come in. Like I've seen too many stories like that and been around sports and uh, businesses that are, are just, there's injury everywhere, you know? Like it's a thing you see a lot. And I've heard way too many stories um, about stuff like that. So always like, definitely get it checked, dude. That is my advice, which is not advice. It's just my opinion. The hair, my hair, that's my natural hair color, for real. But like, look, the blonde on the end is like, look at that, look at that. This is ridiculous. Yeah, my hair needed, my hair needed to be its natural color. My hair is way too, um, I don't wanna say delicate, sensitive to be Bleaching it and putting as much treatment and coloring it. Not bleaching, but I've never bleached my hair. But I did highlight my hair. And like, that's, it's just too rough. It's just too rough on my hair, dude. Like after a, after a couple years of it, it's like, um, uh, it's gonna all fall out if I keep doing this. So I need to not do this. So I was just like, and I'm letting it grow out. Are we letting, are we letting Vector go? I think I'm really, I think I can train someone to, tame these guys and then we'll get level seven and then we can tame him i've got food winter is coming though let's set him free if he breaks in and eats food again we're gonna cap we'll capture him again all right
<laughs> I can have all the snow. Thanks, Punisher. Appreciate it. Barracuda. Barracuda's in a poor mood. She could have a mental break at any time. She just decided that in the bathroom. She's just like, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap. Like, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> like, she is on edge right now. It's the Mechanites, man. The, they, they cause her great pain. Great pain indeed. I need to make a, like, a hospital bed. A decent hospital bed. big time. That's like all of it. Whatever, we're gonna hunt more buffalo. There's that whole herd. We need to start hunting them again. <sighs> we need that bloofer. Why don't I have Barracuda set to work in this time? How did I miss that? do this so they have more anything time together okay everybody's working a 10-hour day right yep all right 10-hour day two hours of recreation one hour meditation Makes sense, I think. I want everybody fair, is what I'm saying. If you steal food again, you can punch him to death. To death? Haley's become attached to him. I know, right? Like, he's just like, it's like, dude, what are you doing? I feel like he'll join us. He's a what? Let's read about him. Let's, ooh, Vector, let's go. Wait, Ve Vector. Wait, okay, they freed him. Wow, age 45, so he's, he's in their age group, that's fine. He's completely naked. He's gonna start freezing to death soon. It's summer right now and that, that's fine, but like he's, so he's incapable of dumb labor and firefighting? That's not good. He's psychically hypersensitive, uh, so his mind is like a psychic tuning fork. He's extremely sensitive to psychic phenomena, which is good and bad. He'll be really sensitive to the good ones and the bad ones. So it's like tricky. Well, but I imagine you would be if you were this wild man living in the, this planet. His other trait is jealous for Vector. It's degrading to have a less impressive bedroom than someone else. He gets a mood loss if any colonist has a more impressive bedroom. He's just, dude, you live in the wild. That makes no sense. He's also a transhumanist. Vector feels limited in his feeble human body. He often dreams of being enhanced by artificial body parts. So he wants that. Childhood was a circus performer. Okay. Growing up in the circus, Vector learned a lot of interesting things. More interesting than the balls he juggled were the pockets he picked between the shows. A mistake with some fire sticks made him develop a deathly fear of fire, which is why he will not fight fires. At least it's not because he's a um, pyro. Pyros, no go. I do not accept them. Pyros, no. 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 Vector's... His name is Philip Vector, by the way. Uh, his adulthood was criminal kingpin. Vector discovered his gift. People did what he said when he said it. Taking advantage of, advantage of this, he set off for the Rim Worlds to make a name for himself in the criminal underworld. Having people do things for him taught him to avoid manual labor at all costs. This dude is a straight up, this kingpin, he definitely had to flee 
somewhere and ended up in the wilds and it has like, his mind is twisted. This man is crazy. This man is crazy, okay? But he won't do any hauling or any cleaning, all right? No menial labor for Vector, all right? And that's a problem, but he's quite skilled at uh, a few other things. Plants and construction he has a massive passion for, which means he'll level these up quickly, okay? Cooking, even a decent passion, it would be nice. He's also got really high social skill. He's also got passion in medical. Now, he's not very high in it, but you can train that by having him tend minor wounds, right? You can set them so that he won't do anything serious, but because he has a passion for it, he'll, he'll level it up quickly. So like, he could be really useful. He's also able to fight and decent at least. He has some familiarity with shooting and he's uh, a capable amateur in melee. He's gonna be, I, I just set him free. I just set him free. Let's see if he goes on his way. I still have him set to tame because um, if I, but I want actually more importantly them to make this kibble and then Actually, I need you to, to haul these. These need to get out of here. They, they, they've been, they've rotted. Rotted! Oh, we have to set this one to not hold these. Yeah. If it's less than 50%, right? I think that'll do it. Haul, no. Definitely a spot to accept it. Just rotten. No fresh, just rotten. There. All of them, of all sorts and types. There we go. Gotta get gotta get the ones we didn't butcher in time, but we had like an excess of food, and it's okay. We found a lot of dead animals at one point. Um so did you make a barracuda? Skull mask, nice. Okay. You know what we do need more of now? Lights. And I have more than enough energy to burn these lights. So let's put some lights in the house. Oh yeah, this is important, big time. All right, lights. the power but we have so much steel which is amazing and great I'm really happy about that I want to replace this wooden wall with I think limestone is what I have right now kind of an excess of yeah those are limestone we'll haul those as well so we'll replace this wooden wall also the wooden walls just don't insulate as well so when it gets cold that's not gonna be good at all so we'll start. So I can literally, because of a mod, I can just build right over top of this. So if you try this, don't be upset that it doesn't work. Um, I forget what the mod is called. I'm gonna post my mod list at some point for you guys. Is this wood? I can't see. Is that wood? Wooden, yes. Limestone blocks. There we go. What is it, boy? You snoring or snorting? Can't tell sometimes. Is this all limestone? Yeah. Limestone, limestone, limestone. When you want to build a wall through where a wall is, it's smartest to just build it out of whatever it's made out of, which is why I'm probably going to just do limestone. I want to wall all this in, right? And I want to keep trapping this area. So if people try to run in, in fact, trapping this might be a good idea to do next. Should have enough bone. Remember when we did all those traps? Which, hilariously, they've all been attacking from the that direction. So maybe, maybe I should trap them. All right, we'll do it. But that can go there. We'll just more heavily trap this area. For sure. We have a, an excess of bone though, so this is fine. This is fine. Check it. I'm gonna build a bone wall, like, to 
force them to run around these, like these pillars. Oh shit, I lost it. It's dark. There. Sometimes I regret my realistic dark mod. Like I love it and I hate it. Look at that. Oh, you so screwed. Horrible for them, I mean. We'll build this first. Shuttle crash? What? <gasps> Guys. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Is everyone dead? Everyone's dead. Damn. One guy, just Captain Fur. Captain Fur, man. Oh wait, no, and Kirk. Oh my God. This person too. Hakuja. Shit, they're all dead. I got excited that I might actually get some people. Although that might not be a good idea. Maybe that's a blessing in disguise, because if your colony grows before you're able to support it, uh, you starve to death and things go bad. So maybe a good idea. Uh, I am gonna deconstruct this shuttle because it will have a lot of metal and components in it that will be very, very useful. And it didn't hit anything that was, you know, critical, so. Wow. Wow. All right, Vector, as long as you stay outside, man, I think we're good. Barracuda, where you at? She's getting tended to. Good. Material. Oh. How are you not? Yeah, okay, you're doing it. You're doing it! Good. Watch Vector come back in while I'm replacing this. I don't think he can. I think those are still, those walls are still up, technically. There you go. What you got? Butchering? Okay, good. The quest 2 is it self contained or does it require a PC to play? It does not require a PC to play. All you need is what is in that quest 2 box the controllers, the headset, and a power cord to charge it. You do need to, you'll, you do need to plug it in to charge it, but just to a wall or whatever. Um, power pack, do whatever you want. But you do not need a PC to play it. You can plug it into the PC and play more games and do more things with it um, than any other headset, in my opinion, at least in my experience of the ones that I've uh, actually had and purchased and used. Um, what you doing there? So it's a thing it can do, but it's not a thing that it needs to do. So I hope that answers your question. I love hearing that boy snore. It's the best. No stack. What you doing? You're researching. What's happening? Need warm clothes. Oh god. Great. Sorry, we've got a lot of leather stuff. We should be able to do this. There we go. Yep, all that. 
because we can do some stuff with this plain leather as well. Ooh, actually, there we go. We can haul this or create that uh, medical bed. I was gonna do a double one so that it's kind of, that's just kind of dual purpose. In a pinch, you can put two people in there and tend to them both. It's nice, it's comfortable. I want it to be really good if somebody's, you know, sick. So we're gonna make a big plain leather bed though. Playing the double fur bed, yes. Where's the top of this bad boy? I think that's it. Outdoors. Okay, we got a we got a roof problem, I think. Yep. That's what I thought. Dang. Quickly, quickly roof this, everyone. Gonna freeze to death. There we go. Minor break. And let's see. Uh... What do we got? Can we make like a parka? Something warm? Poncho? Mm. Pelt coat? We already have pelt coats. What else can we make? Travel backpack? Ooh, I need that. So everybody can carry more. That'd be really useful, actually. Um, make it out of plain leather also. Boom. Requires 20. Yeah, we'll be able to make three of those, no problem. Oh, details. Somebody of decent crafting, at least. You know? Barracuda, perhaps. Vector! What are you doing back in our house, Vector? He's freezing, man. Where'd he get in? Where'd you get in? How'd he get in? There. There. Someone didn't finish the job that they started. You guys left a hole, and now Vector's inside again. Okay. Uh-huh. It's not upside down. I was wrong. Reinstall. Wait. Like this. Reinstall. There you go. Make it a medical bed. Now it's blue. <laughs> That's how you know it's medical. All right. We got no limestone blocks. Got it. I'm so glad you guys that are experiencing RimWorld for the first time are enjoying it. It's like one of my greatest joys to share this game with people. I said it's a game I'll play till I die because it is so, it's just literally different every time. I've never played two games that were the same. Even when I've set all of the parameters the same, I still have never played the same game twice. Like, it's never ending. It's amazing. You want to talk about replayability? This is it. And it's still getting updates. I mean, it's still, and there's a, a massive modding community that is around this game and just, I really enjoy the subreddit as well. Not every uh, game's subreddit is good. Okay. But RimWorlds, I think, is generally pretty good. What up, Millie? Cheese boy as well. Can you hear him snoring down there? Now, I will say this, Punisher. You do need a PC to play Asgard's Wrath. Asgard's Wrath is in the Rift library, which is... Like before there was the Quest, which was a standalone headset. There was the Rift and there, there were other ones as well. I had a Rift and you had to plug it in. If you go back and like watch our like Dread Halls streams, like me and him takes on Dread Halls or like my speed run or whatever. There's uh, the headset we're using is the Rift. 
which is so it's it plugs into a PC and its library is separate from the Oculus Quest library. All right. So you cannot play. You can only play them if you're plugged into a PC. It kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. Most of the time, though, most of the games that I had, you can also download in the Quest now. Like, it's there's very few that are only in the Rift, but Asgard's Wrath is one of them. So you will need, you would need a PC to play Asgard's Wrath. You should know that. Same with Medal of Honor. It's an amazing game, but you have to be plugged into a PC or running virtual. Know what you're doing enough to get virtual desktop running and able to. Um, cast it wirelessly it's possible but you would still need a pc to set that up and play the game okay just as far as being literally plugged in but if i've confused you don't worry about it just just nod and smile just nod and smile boys just nod and smile all right smithing is finished good i think now we need uh, machinery machining is machining when i get a loading bench, is this one that makes ammo? Yes. Perfect. All right, ammo's coming, guys. We gotta be running low. I feel like we gotta be running low. I should check. I don't wanna even look, cause I'm scared to see how low we are in ammo. Uh, gear. 43, she's got 10 in her rifle. This is the, so Barracuda with her rifle. She's got 10 bullets in the rifle. And she's got 43 cartridges in her pocket. Not actually that bad. I think we started off with 100. So we've used like half. But we're one research away from having being able to make ammo. And you make it out of steel, like the basic stuff. It's not. I'm not going to be able to make anything fancy right away. But I will be able to make it. So, Harp, how are you? She's got a 44 Magnum, alright? Harp, with her wearing the deer mask that looks cool. She's wearing a moose headdress, a deer skull mask. It, pain shock is plus 10, psychic symmetry is minus 10. Huh. A terrifying mask. Hides the wearer's face and makes them more confident. Mm. She has 52 in her pocket and 6 in the gun. That's pretty good. I think they both started off with around 100, or maybe it was even more than that. I can't remember. We should be okay. I feel better now. Okay, see, now that this battery is going down, and I, like, I've installed more lights, I'm, I'm doing, I'm adding more things, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the power switch and turn, let the power connect again. And I can set it and wait for someone to go do it, but I'm gonna make Mia go do it, like, right away. There we go. Now go back to what you're doing. Finish what you were doing. Vector. Vector, are you legit just sitting at our chess table and playing chess? Right now? What is this? Harp, can you go tame the muffalo? <gasps> A muffalo so tamed! Yes! Oh my god, guys, this is great news. This is so good. Such good news. Now, hmm, okay. What are we doing? What am I doing here? How am I gonna do this? plant some grass. Dang it, I should have been doing all of this soon, sooner. It's just been a while. Alright, out back here. We're gonna make a little buffalo area. Okay. It's kind of hidden back here. And, you know, as far as people uh, attacking or whatever. Oh, God. Uh, actually. Man, I should trap this so if someone tries to get through here, they just die a horrible death. Let's do that. Let's just set that. They'll get to it eventually. They're not gonna do it right away, but... Where's my security? Security! There. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I like this idea. If it doesn't lure them in, <laughs> I, I might even open, like, drill a tiny hole here and lure them this way. Because this is great. Boom. Okay. 
One buffalo is good. How are we on supplies? Not very good. Okay. We're gonna have to make stone. Yeah. We got there. Slate, granite. Let's make limestone. So I'm gonna put limestone at the top so that they'll make, whoever's doing it will keep making limestone. Here, there. Because there's a bunch right here. So. I'm gonna build a little barn. Watch me. It's gonna be good. Um, I'm also gonna set this to be grass. Literally just grass that they can eat. Tall grass or grass? Hmm. We're gonna go grass. Second, or just tall grass. What's it? So is it? down anyone moving over it wild tall can they eat the wild tall grass or can they just eat grass first number one grass number one grass let's try that who's my gardener go there right away managing your animals is important stuff guys I, it's something I've learned a lot of really hard lessons on major break oh god barracuda stop okay also the next thing we need to do is mine finish mining this out to build in. Actually, and for now, we'll put a spot. 
just so a little muff muffy there knows where to sleep. There's not a building there yet, but there's gonna be. So everyone just relax. Muffy's lived outside side, uh, her whole life. See, they grow wool. You can milk them. the auto refuel on this torch for now. We don't need anything in here. What you got, Harp? Butchering what? Is that a muffle? Yep. Nice work. Take care, Monarch. Thank you, Punisher. Thank you for consulting your local VR queen. I feel a little bad sometimes saying that because there are a lot of amazing VR queens out there right now who have been making VR content and doing stuff way longer than me. Oh shit, we have a solar flare. That's bad. It will pass in a day though, so it's fine. Um, But like any good nickname, it was bestowed upon me. Okay, so I will take it and I will do my best to uphold the title. Uh oh, what's happening? It's weird. <gasps> what the? A mare self tamed as well? <gasps> I got a horse now, too, guys. Dang. Come on over here, horsey. It's a, it's a 12 year old female horse, just self tamed as well. Dang. All right, so they each have a temporary sleeping spot and a permanent sleeping spot. And then this is gonna be their food tray. And I might even make a door right here where it'll make e carrying the food to their, their thing easier. Oh wait, actually cancel that and put it here. Yeah, because the chair is there. That's actually annoying. There. Doing good. Muffy and Mare. Six percent, eighty-eight percent here. Let's do. Let's do this. Harvest. Take what we can from it. Make some kibble to put in here. And if I have to, I'll feed them actual meals. One muffalo and one horse is perfect. They just decided to join us. I love it. I didn't realize I had to build a bridge there. That one. No rotten hay. Oh my god! A chunk of spacecraft has landed nearby. Jesus! Where are we? Shit's just falling out of the sky left and right, man! Oh yeah, I forgot I had people here. You know what? Let's refuel this. Oh yeah, can you refuel this? You guys know what to do. All right, solar 
flare is ending. Thank you. Oh, look, they got nice beds now. Um, Hmm. What you doing? Oh, building. I see. We need more. I need more muffalo. Go hunt them. You can't just eat our food and not contribute. Shit, I don't like that. I think it's dead. Mm -hmm. What you eating? Playing fetch? What? That's adorable. Harp's playing with them. That's so precious. Wait, did you harvest that? Oh wait, you did. Oh good. Do more of that. She's asleep. Hear me, can you do it? Botched! How could you? Vector to death again. Not to death, but. But you know. Like. To get in the spot. I think we should, you know why? Because he's not contributing any. It's actually not true. He's gonna eat the same amount of food whether he's there or not. So. We should just let, let him. We'll tame him soon. He's, he's, this is like the trial of him living with us. Who's my gardener? Why am I, I need to, is it, no, it's not Mia. Nope. She's the worst. Barracuda. I'm gonna need you to harvest this stuff. Spot to, uh, what? Yes, there is. 
What is this? What is this nonsense? No, well, first of all, no rotten allowed. Animal corpses. Right here. It is perfectly open. What do you mean not, not available? Is just now dead. Why can't you put them in this spot? I don't understand. Right there, muffalo corpse allowed. What? Is, what? Whatever. She's building it. Harp will do it. It'll be fine. That's what I want. Oh, right here. Oh, food. Uh... And what? Why would weapons be in there? That's ridiculous. There we go. Look at him eating it. Nom, 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 nom. I need to make more limestone real quick. for a breakdown. Ah! No, Barracuda, no! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Don't destroy that. Don't destroy that. Don't destroy that. Repair that. It's fine. We're fixing it. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna fix it as you break it. Stop 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 it. Oh, you're gonna break it. Don't you fucking break it! Don't you do it! She's trying. She's trying. No! Vector's vomiting? Why is Vector vomiting? Stop! Get tired, stop it. Harp, arrest her. Not Harp, Mia. Why, why, why won't you? Why can't you? Oh my god, no. Why can't you? Please arrest her. Stop trying to break this! <gasps> you! Oh! You broke the tool cabinet, Barracuda! <laughs> it's a fun. What are we talking about? Nicknames? I think it's just personal, personal preference. I think the reason I feel the way I feel is because in fighting, it's like a thing that like you don't, you don't pick your own fighting name. That's just like, it was kind of like a, I was gonna say an unspoken rule, but it was a spoken rule. You are bestowed the nickname. So that's what shaped my personal opinion on the matter. But everyone has one. Did you say LeBron did, Kobe did? I mean, yeah, like, and for them, they don't mind bestowing themselves a nickname and feel good about it. And other people do as well. But I think, like I said, I know, I know why mine is the way it is, but it's your nickname. You can decide what your parameters on it are, you know? And the people using it can decide if they would like to use it or not based on those parameters. Look at that, Mia's having to clean up Vector's vomit. Why are you vomiting, Vector? What the fuck is this? What? Like what? Like what is this? How? What? I don't understand. Cleaning vomit. Cleaning vomit. Great. Why can't I 
I select? Like, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It's a little cold in here. And I need to chop down some trees, run a little low on wood. And we can remove the ones just immediately close to the to the base and, and do a lot. It's really good. Here are the ones on the field. We need her to finish there. How are we doing on food? We're okay. She died meditating. I want her to maybe cut some stone. Because we need more. Can't do taming job because of a full inventory. Who is this? Harp? Can't do taming job because of a full inventory. Have we made the, the, uh, I'm gonna let Barracuda finish. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, inventory, where's your inventory? Here. Why are you carrying that around? You don't need that. You need, we do, what I do need is uh, to finish those backpacks for them that way they can all carry more that's gonna be really important so I'm gonna do that right now we're gonna be okay guys I, I feel like I'm chasing staying caught up with everything right now but it's gonna be okay all right we got to turn this off as well look power batteries back up my balance is not there yet which means I should really build more power lines and add more lights and like really liven the place up you know we can afford the the energy usage so we should do it How are we on other stones? Mm. This is all limestone, so I'm probably gonna use limestone. Cause that's what I'll keep getting as I dig through a lot of this. Uh, hygiene. They need a bathtub. They need a bathtub. Use some sinks as well. Oh my god, you know what I do else I need? Like a water tower and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, let's get a basic stone bathtub going right here. Perfect. Alright. You know when you have to do it start doing a lot of micromanaging that your that your colony is not well organized at that moment but that's okay we're gonna be fine we're doing good there. I don't want I don't want any explosions Vector, Jesus, dude. Let's give you a spot. I might as well give him a spot. Right, boy? I'm trying to get him to move in anyway. Might as well build him a spot. Chunks 
of space crap. My god, more? There's so much. It's ridiculous. The other problem is Barracuda's not functioning at full capacity. She's she's going through this issue with the with the the mechanites, the fibrous mechanites. She's basically got little tiny mini machines that are eating her muscles and causing her a great deal of dis discomfort. It's not the best. Seventy-five. I'll take it. Okay, that's like two, almost two hundred steel, and then we'll add uh, some other stuff. These trees down, obviously. But I think um, no shit. Kitchen. I, I want eventually, and I may even have an electric pump inside when I clear some more of this out, but I, the wind pump will ensure that even in the event of a solar flare or whatever, I will still have a way to get water. So even if you have the tech, need to oh god no you what'd you do poor stacy land this is the second time she's been put in jail she's the most gangster person in the chat right now been put in jail twice in like a one week period you know a true hoodlum a true hoodlum that's how you know Yes, yes, we know you can't do the taming job because of the full inventory. We're working on it. Can you do this? Finish crafting this? Yeah, just finish this. You're, you're, you're almost there.
Yep, it needs water. We're working on it, man. We're working on it. We need to put a well, in fact. Where's a good well? Why don't I have a good one? Not a primitive well. What the hell? Why is that all I got? Like that will be enough. this one you know okay good making that backpack that's what we need very important y'all can where's where's this oh shit an eclipse okay Doctor. Oh, shit. The wild! An otter killed a hedgehog. Dang. Could really use Vector joining us to help me organize our tasks a bit better. I'm due a break. RimWorld is one of the few games where I literally have to force myself to take breaks or I won't. feel about that we might just have to eat him I don't want too many animals my mare and my muffalo are already barely having enough kibble between them so I want to maybe eat the boar don't be upset with me all right take care art I am so glad you got to come back as well man welcome 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 back of course and I'm glad you got to enjoy a nice chill Rim World stream. It's been pretty chill. Been a, a few little bits of excitement here and there, but as you guys know, I play Rim World the, the long way. You know, I stretch it out so that based on what I do in this part of the game is gonna affect what my end game looks like. And you know, usually I don't have anyone to blame but myself. So uh, give me give me a couple minutes, guys. 
Let me take one more break. Let me come back. Let's see if we can what we can get done in the meantime. I like the way the bathroom area is coming along. Everybody's gonna have, be able to uh, being able to keep up their personal hygiene keeps them really happy as well. So these are all things that are important. Eventually, we're gonna have to get individual rooms. I got I gotta expand the base. That's the main thing. I need to expand the base. I've not really wanted to get too much into my area where I'm putting up windmills and stuff like that, but I gotta build some more walls. The problem is I'm also replacing some of my walls right now. Um, you come to Mr. Muffalo. You come to the, he can hang out in the area for a little bit, but we're probably gonna, we're probably gonna eat him. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put that to slaughter. Don't be mad, don't be mad at me, okay? Um, cool. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Stacy Lynn's the most badass hoodlum. She's always been put in jail around here by Bleak Blue, but okay, give me, give me, give me just a couple minutes, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, like the video if you haven't yet. Yay, that's always a big help. Appreciate you.
everybody. Hello. You're my hood boy. Yeah, dear boy. Hi, dear boy. Hi, dear boy. How's your sweet boy? How's your sweet boy? Oh, my dear. I love when you do this. Yeah. 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 This boy got the most handsome face I ever seen. say it's rim world featuring a cheese boy without a cheese boy so hope everybody's enjoying this this is a puppet mission it's when the real stars of the stream really take take over you ever heard wipeout played on the pupper drums pupper bongos don't even care, do you, boy? You don't even care. Just fuck up with him. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. Look at his face. Look at his face. Yes. Look at this pink face. Look at that chin. A little chinny chin chin. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff, oh my goodness, hoodlums hang out, some hoodlums, I, I imagine it more of like somebody's back porch, you know, like with like a light, a small light on, maybe a fire pit, maybe no light, just the fire, security, security, Puppy. You don't even care. Do you? You don't even care, little boy. Don't care, little boy. Love it. He's literally, I can hear him snoring. He's falling asleep as I do it. Show everybody your teeth. Show everybody, show everybody them teeth, boy. Show them them teeth, sir. Hmm? My goodness, what a handsome boy. What a handsome boy you are. Got them cheap teeth. Oh my goodness, boy. Oh my goodness, boy. Oh, I wasn't even full stream. Oh my good. Sorry, sorry, here you go. Before he gets sick of it. 
You did chinny chin chin. You did, yeah, you liked it, boy. Oh, what did you say? Oh. Boy, it's a boy. It's a boy, it's a boy, it's a boy. Let me see if I can get a sip of water. Sorry, sip of coffee. You want some? No, not interested. Oh god, oh god. Oh, okay, 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 we got you. Not interested in coffee? Hey, that's my handsome boy. Just this good old handsome boy. Yes, yes. Oh, look at that boy. I wish I could explain to you guys how soft he is. How soft mm, and just, oh, he's so sweet. Just the sweetest boy. Oh, oh. What are you doing? You're trying to get cozy? What is that? What is that? He does snore when he's wide awake. That's true. Okay. Here we go. You can stay. Right here. Yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. Um, well, with base versus two. Um, the main reason is I my office, I have a wood floor. Um, and I don't like the wheels on it. Like... It's, it, I don't want it to damage it. Also, this chair is comfortable and reclines. And so if I'm gaming, say, with a controller, I can sit much more comfortably in this uh, chair than, say, a regular office chair. It has its disadvantages, but basically every chair, every chair does. Um, advantages and disadvantages. But it's more of a floor issue for me. All right, switching back. Them ear dots. This boy's got the cutest little speckled ear. You got the cutest little speckled ear, boy. Yes, you do. That's right. That's right. Y'all can see the top of his head there. His big old fat head. It's not fat, though. It's kind of skinny still. Love you, boy. The sweetest boy. The sweetest, sweetest boy. All right. Are we going to make it? We going to not make it. I don't know. Can't tell, man. Skin wild. All right. Somebody slaughter the boar. Sorry, we need to eat you. No, what? Why? Why does it say that? No empty accessible spot available. Oh, wait. Why would that not be 100? That's insane. Why would, it must have been just a mistake I made. Oops. Oh, hauling. We're good. Nobody panic. Yeah, yeah, we know. Barracuda's gonna make the backpacks. We're getting there. And then you, this won't be an issue. Wrong! I'm a mother. Definitely a caretaker for the, for the doggos of the world. It's a calling, for sure. Have you never seen a mother dote on her child? We're all guilty of it. Of doting on something, I mean. Ain't that right, boy? My weakness is for puppies. Yeah. 
this boy. Oh, sweet boy. Look at that ear. Oh, I love getting this little ear right here. It's so sweet. All right, we got one tribal backpack. Harp, can you equip it? Where's it at? Mechanites. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much, Jay, for your support of the stream and for the puppers. That was for you, boy. You don't. You don't. You don't even care. You're not even gonna say anything. He's snoring. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell, but he clearly appreciates it. So thank you, Jay. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. All right, Mia, go hit the switch. Get some more electricity coming this way. Let's see. I'm not feeling good about things right now. Got nobody hauling. so much and it's bad news man it's never good for you to do that places slowly People are about to like lose their shit. I'm trying to just get through. It's a, not even winter yet, it's just fall. We're halfway through fall. My potatoes have not harvested a single potato.
going to do a little bit of micromanaging. I hate having to do it like this, but I, I have to. Um, No potates yet. Not a single potate has been harvested, unfortunately. It's a little, it's a little concerning. No rotten. Foods, meals. And then package survival meals. Perfect. That's literally all I want in here. So, and I don't want any package survival meals being put here. Okay, first of all, no rotten. Anything rotten just needs to not go here, ever. And then I go to the one where they're at and I take them off. Right there. No package survival meals. And say call urgently. Because I'm going to have to show you what I'm going to have to do for my animals. Man, it's not good. It's not good. Wait, is that all we can put there? Really? Oh shit, we gotta build this. What are we doing, y'all? Can't be having this. We're gonna we're gonna freeze to death, y'all! Chunks of spacecraft. Dang, we are in a uh, like high traffic shit falling out of the sky area. It's wild. We sealed up. We got a fire going. Good, good deal. Good deal. We're doing okay. It's a little stressful, but otherwise we're, we're doing okay. Let's check for some free food. Um, is this thing still burning? No. Free food? Are you dead? Finish it off. Harp. Go finish this guy off. This is going to feed us for forever. Well, not forever, but a lot. And he's unconscious. What what got him? You can look at his health and see. Ooh, the elk. Oh, God. The elk just, ooh, he's got an, an infection in his stomach, too, though. Hopefully that's not bad for us. You know what I'm saying? All right, Barracuda's harvesting potates. My God, we're gonna have, it's time for potates. Let's do it. Zone. All right, vegetables. Go here. Right? <laughs> I like how I'm asking I just don't know what I want to do with my stuff just yet. Uh,
So by default, you just don't. And then it can take a lot of the food out of this one. And then eventually I'm gonna have to build a refrigerator. That's that's gotta be coming next. Fact. I might just build it out here. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Blocks. Granite. Slate. Vector, what's wrong with Vector? Unconscious? Frostbite. Yeah, well, you know, it's indoors now, Vector. I'm sorry, you're naked. I don't know what to tell you, man. Vector's, like, just laying there, maybe freezing to death. Let's rescue him. There. Harp, where are you at? Carrying a dead elk. Nice. Good stuff. <laughs> okay, like, is Vector dead? No, not yet. Healthy. Healthy. They're good. They're good so far. This one not a gather spot. The place where we just cremate random strangers. Maybe not. No water for that either. Can you just fill it? I thought I could fill it still. Oh no, I have to do it with the tub tub. Untreated. So it's not like not enough? Connected. Is it just not enough? I can't tell. Is there nothing in its way? Oh my god, we're done with machining. Good! Okay, interesting. Now, what do we want to do? Hydroponics? Grow shit inside? Electronics, comms console, high tech research bench. We're not ready for that. We're not ready for all that. Carpet making? First winter's gonna be real rough. Today is basically, I'm gonna, what I finish here is gonna be me trying to prepare for the first winter. And we are not doing like horrible. We are not doing great either. 
Victor. So, we'll see, man. I don't know. I'm gonna do my best to prepare. And then what is tomorrow? Oh, Friday. You all right, boy? What's wrong? What is it? Are you throwing a fit? Can't tell if he's just being needy or if something's wrong. Oh, Sometimes he throws little fits for whatever reason. He has his reasons, you know? Actually, you know what I am gonna do? in here for the animals. Do it first. Put your hair first. Yep, make some more kibble. Kibble, kibble, kibble. Good work. Whoa, 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 whoa! A group of chihuahuas, abandoned or lost, have wandered into the area. They are joining the colony. I don't know about this, guys. I don't know. Listen, I love the doggos, but. They cannot show up. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. This is bad. We're gonna have to eat them. There's really no other option. Oh, what are you eating? Yeah. We're gonna have to eat them. 10? 11? 10? Yeah, no way. Nope, 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 nope. What is that also? Is that a dead muffle? Damn. There's all kinds of... Well, I gotta watch out for that. Mega Wolverine. You know what I might do? Which is almost worse. Is I might have them stay in... Right! The Yorkie situation! I forgot that was one that happened on stream. Same thing! Same thing! Same thing. I might set them to be in an area and stay out here and honestly i'm not even joking have them just appease the predators like keep the predators fed keeps them out of our area like i, I might do that because it's not we can't they will eat us out of house and home it's not you can't do it you absolutely cannot do it so so this is what we got to do all right this is what we got to do expand a lot of areas but then we go manage areas new area rename Stay away, Chihuahua. How do you spell it? Chihuahua. There we go. Stay away, Chihuahua. And we put that, like, here. Now, they are just gonna hang out in this square. Oh my god, dude, no way. Yep. Stay away, Chihuahua. They, they, this is like a, not humane, but this is like, I don't really want to like go through and murder every single one. I think even psychologically that might be weird for these guys, but, oh shit. It was, 
coming for him and he's shot it. Way to go, Barracuda. She shot it. Damn. Well, Barracuda, I'll tell you that right now. So badly but so if the predators get hungry they start coming around your colony and I'm telling you it's bad bad news that's why I want to start building up like traps and walls and, and kind of protecting different areas that were that we're building up like this one and it also helps force them into traps which is always good and, and always a thing you want to do Vector. Vector it. Vector's. Vector's dead. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cremate Vector here. It's gonna be fine. Vector. You had a wild life, my dude. It wasn't meant to be. Yeah, a bunch of Yorkies got into the, uh, I remember that. They got into the, uh, alcohol. I had, like, I, and I hadn't even made it. I had just, like, stolen it from some people. And, yeah, it was crazy. I don't want them. The mayor, the muffalo, I'm all for. This is great. Uh-oh, we got more mint. Not, why am I saying uh-oh? It's great. Shit, when it's sitting outside. Hey, we got some smoke leaf? Hell yeah. We'll set, uh... Make a crude smoke leaf or make a regular smoke leaf? What's a crude for? Oops. Check, 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 check. Do forever if you can. Right? Like. If there's smoke leaf to roll, roll it. It's a good. material. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, see? It's happening. I don't like that I'm getting... Yeah, we know. It's gonna do this for every single one of them. It's fine. Just don't panic when you hear the noise. Alright, that's all I can say. like this porcupine so close I love her playing fetch with the mayor it's so sweet taming a muffalo good wait actually don't now that we have a muffalo I don't want you to tame another muffalo you're gonna fail I'll let her do it for the practice but then it's just gonna fail please fail please fail please fail okay and then cancel Hunt instead. 
We're good on Muffalo. One Muffalo, one horse. We don't need anything more, trust me. I've done this before. I know what I'm doing. The meat, the everything is far more valuable. Timber wolf is hunting mare. One for food. Oh shit. This is bad. Barracuda is taking shot. Kill it! There it is. That's right. Get out of here, wolf! Shoot! See? We gotta watch out for predators. You gotta watch out. There it is. We're good. He refused to put on clothes. I, I, he was in, listen, he was in the base. He could have picked up clothes. He picked up food just fine. I don't know why he didn't want to, but it was his choice. Can't do anything about it. All right, next mining project. Actually, first project is gonna be Limestone, so we'll go with that first. We're gonna build the out outer wall here. I don't want to have it opening like it did last time and freezing us out. So we're gonna build that first. They can go out here and build it, it's fine. It's a fine. Animal starvation. Oh yeah, Chihuahuas. I'm sorry, Chihuahuas. I don't. I can't help you. Uh, you, you. You didn't really ask. You didn't say, "Do you want these Chihuahuas?" They just said, "You have Chihuahuas," and I don't want Chihuahuas. I don't want them. You can't make me. Blocked by a pine tree. You bastard. Oh yeah, we running. We're gonna. We're running low on power. something but I'm clearly not hmm oh I'm I'm an idiot there you go it's all right <laughs> I'm an idiot I'm such an idiot I'm such an idiot I know what to do. Watch. Harp, please build this. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're going to get it going now. Mia, refuel the fire. How are we doing on the wood? We're okay. Awesome. 
I love hearing what led people to the channel and how they found it, you know? It's important. And I have to say, I've my channel's grown a lot since we started um, doing all the BRE start stuff on Up, Up, Down, Down, and just how fun that's been. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a snow. First snow. Yep. So in fall, mid-fall, we got a... This is stuff you gotta remember, too, as you live in an area, like, pay attention to your seasons and when stuff happens so that you can plan accordingly. We're having our first hard fall, or our, our first hard snow, getting towards the end of fall. It's the 11, so there's 15 days in a season, okay? So this is the 11th day of fall. And we're having a hard snow, it's bad. Killed our, it killed our crops, which we were pretty much done with anyway. Good news, we harvested some medicine, all right? because of outdoors. How do we fix that? Zone. Where's that? Oh my god. Please build that. Y'all cannot leave these holes in the middle of the night. You cannot do it. It's gonna be uh, not good. You cannot do it. And, wow. Them chihuahuas are gonna die from freezing to death out there. Digging no medieval tournament for us. Mega Wolverine. See? Appease the predators! I know what I'm doing! That keeps them from hunting my animals. Is what it does. Yep. Still got, we still got food. We're good. We're doing fine. Resting. You still got them fibrous mechanites, Barracuda? Damn. Life is hard. animal uh, warnings, but I just, I can't. I wish I could, like, I wish you could um, disown them. You know? I don't have to slaughter them or whatever, but I can just disown them and not have them anymore. I wish you could do that. So that I'm not getting all the alerts and it's like, emergency, emergency, and all this red makes me real nervous, because that's usually when shit's going horrible. And we are having a horrible snowstorm rescuing. See, don't do that. No. You're gonna freaking run out in a blizzard. What are you doing? Cancel what you're doing. No, listen to me. None. They don't, we can't. Leave them. Leave them! I said leave them, and yet you're still trying to give them medical care. I said none. Is that, yeah, well, I guess you could still tend to them without using medicine, but it's like, it's, dude, I don't, no, I don't want it. Stop. No, harp, no. Go do something else, literally anything else. Trader, yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh, please don't leave because of the weather, though. Please, please don't leave. Okay, I need to tell the trades people to come here. But although they already spawned in, so they may not use this one, but I do. Is it miscellaneous? 
Party spot, caravan, packing spot. Where's the trading spot? Marriage spot, party spot, trading spot. Here we go. Just come chill right here. My best talker. Mia. Perfect. Bring it on in, guys. Also, I need to build a machining table to make more ammo. I was all about like I was gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, and then now finally I need to actually do it. Or a loading table, loading bench, that's what we need. Where's that? The loading bench, but steel. leave any holes for any length of time whatsoever. There. There. Mia, go talk to them. Bring them in. Bring it in, people. Bring it in. Hello? Where are you going? Where are you parking? What's going on? Hello? <gasps> What's happening? Oh. Freaking ant chihuahuas! God! Alright, you guys pick a spot! Alright, where's the exclamation point? Give me the exclamation point. Huh? Yup, oh, yep, good. Where you at? Don't care. Don't care. Alright, where are they? Why can't I talk to them? They've not given me a person to talk to yet. They usually pop up with like a name, uh, exclamation point over their head. Or like a question mark, rather. But I don't see them. It's like they don't know if they want to stay or not. Here. You know what? You guys can come inside. There. Come inside, everyone. Come inside. Where it's warm-ish. Warmer. See anybody? I'm at least giving them some shelter from the cold, but they they aren't giving me an option to trade right now, so this is not good. Oh 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 oh! What did I just do? Shit! I'm so oh my god no! Here, sorry sorry guys sorry. Hang out there yeah. Oops, I still had the freaking spot. Just throwing it down everywhere, that's annoying. Um, yeah. Surely they've got to have a leader. You guys are a caravan. Aha! There we go. Alright! You cannot have our muffalo. They've got a woolly bull, woolly cow, woolly cow. You cannot have our mare. <sighs> can't have any kibble and they aren't selling any, which kind of sucks. Um, work. And neutromine's gonna be good for making medicine at some point. So I might buy like a hundred and see if I can trade off some of this other stuff taking up room in my inventories. Drop 
balance it out a little here. Mm. Can I buy with him? 100 cloth. Because there are some things that absolutely have to have cloth, and I have zero. I have zero cloth. So. I don't want to try to. Alright, sell some of this shitty clothing that we have. Any of that. That backpack's ours. That wooden shield can go. Okay. 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 Let's go back to selling more skin. More hide. I want to leave. We've got all this blue fur and a bunch of pig skin that we can work with. Um, someone needs to wear that other backpack right now. So this is all going to cost us 311 silver. I'm getting some Nutroamine for future medicine and I'm getting some cloth. Just some basic cloth. And that's it. They don't really have anything else. But I'm also getting rid of some other stuff, too. These crappy clothes, crappy weapons, stuff that had taken up space. This is good. So I'm gonna accept, we'll make the trade, they can go on their way. I'll go ahead and uh, put the trading spot back outside. I only moved it because they clearly needed a place, like, they were gonna freeze to death. Chihuahuas are dying. What is life? Pigrass has died. Chihuahuas died. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Can I build a hearth? A hearth? A hearth? Let's just build some heaters. That's really what we need. Just, just build a couple heaters. stays on the cleaning good. It's very helpful. We can expand this out a little bit. I'm gonna be happy when these chihuahuas are all dead. Oh god! A Deodon is attacking after being harmed. They're hunting it. Shit. Alright, we'll take it. Uh, I'll take it. Let's finish this bad boy off. Thanks for the free food, guys! 
Shit, that's... That's more valuable than the stuff we traded, just about. Some 303 and the 44 ammo. Yep. Perfect. So it takes 24 steel, but we get 500 rounds. So that's huge. Okay. Do um, until X. No, no, that's like 5,000. Yeah, we'll just do it like this. As we needed. As needed. 303, where's it? They killed that thing for me, man. Hey, what else are you doing? Hey, wild. Damn! Nice work. Took that out as well. I'll take that. Free fur. Now, I want to build some chairs as well. Steel stools. glad when they're done with this and won't need to do this anymore. Oh my god, are we almost done actually? That'd be great. Yes. Now I can mine this out and not have to worry about putting a hole in our base. We can take all this stone as well. Barracuda, you good? Do what you want, Barracuda. Come on now. Stay focused. Stay focused. Park, build this heater. We need it bad. There we go. Push the button was a fun one. I liked that. Um, can the caravan turn on you? Yeah. It, it, any Literally anything can happen. Like, the dumbest stuff can happen and just ruin everything. <laughs> like, it's just, oh my god. All right, we are running really low on kibble. Need to start putting some floors in here soon. <gasps> no! A raid. Okay, okay, okay. We got three. Looks like they've got basic ass weapons. What is that? Stick bomb. Oh no. They're attacking immediately. Alright. 
You know what? Yeah, let them let them run into our traps. That'd be nice. Okay. So let's do something quick. So. Stay away chihuahuas can be, but we'll rename safe inside. So I'm going to make an area that is literally just inside the walls. So I can tell them all to stay there until these guys get closer and we see kind of where they're coming out of. Because really being smart and not just running out to meet them, especially at night in the dark. Now granted, they have a stick bomb, which makes me nervous, but we've got guns. And an eye. So I feel like this should not still be easy. Of course, of course, the game couldn't let me get through a stream without some real threat, you know? Of course. Isn't it funny? So wasn't someone just asking, like, huh? Oh? Yeah, this is how it goes. Literally just. At any moment, it can go horribly wrong. All right, everyone stays inside. Muffalos and stuff too, y'all stay inside. People, stay inside. So I want them to do whatever they can do to get here. Who knows, they may even get attacked by predators before they get here. That's all I wanna see. And check it out. See, let's see if they hit the traps. Do they hit the traps? Oh my god, please hit the traps. Please. Damn. Okay, okay, okay. I think they're gonna hit some of these. Okay. This way or that way? I'm gonna make her go this way. Nope, they're going down. What are you doing? They're gonna walk across and are they gonna go through the water? You know? It's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. They got hit! Two traps already triggered them. Nice. Amazing. Nice. 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 This is a better angle. Alright, here we go. Better Go, right there. Just fire, 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 fire. Fall back, heart. Fall back. Run and gun, baby. Run and gun. That's right! That's right! What? You don't want none? You don't want none! That's right, you gonna freeze to death out here. How's it feel? Hmm? How's it feel? Oh, shame, shame, shame. Shame, 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 shame. shame. All right, check it out. Mia, stay in home area. The rest of you are unrestricted. Nice work, everyone. Light work, very light work. The traps, man. How about them traps? I'm telling y'all. Okay, so clearly I need to trap the other side as well easy enough as a improvement we can make really quick. Okay, Barracuda, where are you going? Hunting a wild boar, okay. All right, we're good. Woo! Destroyed destroyed normal Mia haul that if in case somebody wants some of this stuff they can they can definitely you know wear it Ooh, 
Paula J. Club, sell that. Very good at what you're doing. Hunting again? Don't don't have a breakdown while you're out here hunting. We can't be having that. Okay, get back inside and relax. Uh oh. Mad elk. We got a mad elk. What are you after? Alright. Try to stay ready. Where's it at? Crazy. Mia, maybe get inside. Harp, where's you? Where you at? Come here. Oh. Ah, Mia's stabbing it! Oh god, it's in the base! Oh shit! What have we done? What happened? Oh, holy shit! Harp, are you okay? Back? Oh my god. God, the heart it's insane not like this what is happening oh my god heart shoot it cannot shoot in melee well then stop meleeing oh my god it's dead or downed shit Oh my god, dude. What is happening? He is like, I need a bath. Was almost really bad. No. Cream maple more. Yep. They don't like seeing the dead bodies just laying around. It's kind of depressing. Do we need the wild boar? I don't think you need the wild boar. Where 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 is this going? We turn off the hunt. There's too many. Oh, he's already pretty much dead. Okay. That one's pretty much dead. Cancel. Cancel everything. Harp. Barracuda. Okay. There we go. We're good. Health. Dang! Her jaw, right leg, and torso. She all got hit by the... Brutal. like dragging wires across my base or pipes so look at this nice bath we have though keeping everybody looking whoa harp it's, you ain't got no clothes shit okay We need warm clothes first. Like a parka. Pelt coats. Another helmet. No. 
tunic. That is a thing we should have expert colonist. Make him out of blue fur. Blue fur boots. Gloves as well. Expert colonist, so one each. So this will make sure they always have one each of these things. I'll set them a decent crafter. Clear all and just blue for please. Because I love saying blue for I know. I like it. It's how it's what I like. Alright. Trapper hat is so cute. Tribal poncho. It's effective at insulating. Yeah, I think I might want poncho and killed. Honestly. It'll keep them cool in the summer, and we can go warm in the winter. I like this way better. All right, that's what I want. So, tribal poncho, tribal kilt, trapper hat. Set the parameters for all of them. Order of I think that they should get done. Clear all, maybe only blue fur. Clear all, only blue fur. Decent crafter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. Clear all. Now they're all outfitted in muffalo wool. Blue fur is what it's called. I love it. That's what they're going to make all this out of. So Barracuda, please. I want you to, first of all, let's get the wiring all built here. Then we will be able to do all of close enough to actually turn it on, I can stop. Oh. There we go. Okay, Barracuda, go rest. Yeah. Refuel, please. running see now we're running low on power so i need to add more of these guys i'm gonna go more let's see Ugh, they're just such a like target Uh-oh, shit. Okay, we gotta do this fast then. There we go. Two solars. And now, if I put that there, is that gonna be too much?
Can there? Oh, Jesus, Stannis. <laughs> Stop. Stop. You hear your sister barking at something. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, we got drug production good, which is good for medicine, not drugs, but medicine. So, we need what? Microelectronics. That's a big one, man. Psychite. But let's do panoxycycline first. That'll keep us from getting things like malaria. We've lost entire colonies to malaria before. It's a good one to work on though. It's not even winter yet, guys. but I'm pretty sure we can do, we can do it no problem This is my de best defense right now. Although you saw how good it did against that raid, man. It ain't no joke. You can straight up, like. Handle business. All this steel we mined out is why I'm making most of this out of steel. I feel like it's can be handled. We'll take carcass disposal sewage outlet over here in this little spot and it's kind of a good distraction I feel like to these guys because they will try to attack these things and whatever in this area and it's like you're just gonna get ate up by traps man you're just gonna get ate up I'm here for it America where you at and I am gonna probably dig a hole here and make this a, like a, just a, just a lure them 
straight up just a trap. We have an excess of meat, it's fine. <gasps> Wait, why wood, wood, no, not wood. No, 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 stop that. Stop. Steel sewage outlet, how did I manage that? So you gotta be really careful what you make stuff out of. Freeze to death if we don't get her some warm clothes. And let's get some light on the situation. No, wall light. That's what we want. There we go. I hate not being able to see inside my own base. Organize Mia a little bit, can you? Tree. Oh my god, she's wearing a veil that makes her look like she has a beard. It's hilarious. easier once they build the little bridge and everything. There we go. Oh my god, it's actually really good. 31, 32. I'm not gonna waste time doing that right now.
we're gonna have to hunt more. All our meat rotted before we could eat it. It's okay. We still needed the bone. We needed a lot of stuff. How's her health? She's still got the mechanites, man. That's bad news. Um, so, poopy butt, you have to space your traps out and not put them in the places of, like, if there's a doorway and there's only one way to walk through and walk over the trap, they will still try to avoid it, um, but the percent chance there is of them accidentally triggering the trap goes way up if they have to cross over it. But if you build them with spaces, and, like, I don't put it directly in front of the door, there is a path, right, to get to this door that does not involve a trap. That's what you want to make sure you have. If you don't, them and your animals will hit them. So just be aware of that. That's why like even through these these things, I kind of still like sometimes to have like maybe a side door or something that they can go in and out of that's blocked off and uh, and enemies will try to go through the open, right? But It does take a but if, think about it if you had a bazillion traps around a colony odds are eventually somebody's gonna mess up and um accidentally step on something they ain't supposed to you know it's kind of i kind of i'm okay with that like i dig it all right let's put li a limestone door out here Finish this. Whew, it's giving making me nervous. I just wanted to get it done. She is doing it. Sweet. There we go. This should make life a little easier. Come on. There we go. Now build it. Okay. Okay. Perfect. We got the sewage outlet connected, I think. I think, I think, I think. be okay guys yes yes perfect oh damn we caught a wild boar in the trap how about that it's good news Uh, Barracuda, go here. Create some beautiful clothing, please, for the love of God. And for them, I'm going to tell them, do not, they're not going to be forced to wear anything they don't want to wear. Got some clothes on. We're good. Guys, I think we're gonna be okay. Barracuda's shit throwing a tantrum. She's gonna smash things in her room. This happened because of a poor mood. It's the damn mechanites, man. What are you, uh, what are you gonna smash? Oh, just the wall's fine. The wall's fine. Yeah, smash the wall. 
Ah! Not the chess table. Jesus. Oh. No. Not the butcher table either. Hey, hey, hey. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh my god. No, stop it, stop it. Shit. Are you done yet? Barracuda! Go ahead and break your bed. No, not the batteries. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Smash the walls. Okay, she's good. She collapsed. She's fine. Everything's fine. Wow. Good lord. About the facts. Yeah, my longest stream ever. It's crazy that it was an Assassin's Creed game. You would think it'd be RimWorld. Although I've had some pretty long RimWorld streams as well. And if I recall, it wasn't for any particular reason. It was just, uh... I don't know. I was just enjoying the game. I've been living my life. Alright. She got through a tantrum without, you know, anything too, too horrible. We're gonna be okay, guys. <laughs> Just fixing shit. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for fixing things. She's making ammo. Good deal. See, Barracuda just needed to lose her shit and she's back on track. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. So, it's not without reason though, Millie. Because as I was saying, Barracuda, at, in the very first season, like as soon as we arrived, became afflicted with these things called fibrous mechanites. So basically, tiny little robots the size of cells are attacking her insides like a like a cybernetic cancer sort of you could say and it's causing her extreme pain which is well no mild pain mild pain but that mild pain builds over the time of an entire season perhaps and causes her to snap and lose her mind and she's the only one that's done it um but she has a reason she does have a reason and it's just like god i hate it for her now, what's crazy is the Mechanites make her move faster and make her blood pump faster, but they put her in pain, so they're a horrible trade-off, in my opinion. So she's just sensitive. Sensitive. make it through winter. It just started, too. It's the 2nd of Jugist. It's one of my favorite seasons. Jugist. Mm, where's my... There it is. No chem fuel there. Chem fuel only here. Wow, there's literally no other animals on the map other than one arctic coyote. Damn. See? That's why you cannot always count on the animals, y'all. It's bad news. Real bad. Where's he at, the, the one coyote? Or is he gone? I think he's even gone. Where's he at? Huh? One little arctic coyote. Not much. Oh, well. Do we have food? Are we out of food? Shit, we're running low, I think. Yeah. So 
we're gonna have to hunt that one coyote. Let's go get it. Hopefully something will wander in soon. find some corpses that animal carcasses that perhaps are usable is this one dead for less than a day frozen won't spoil hell yeah barracuda can you call this this is how we're gonna this is how we eat now guys dead for less than a day yeah wait actually harp where you at did you not did you kill it and bring it in though Oh, God, that was fast. That was real fast. We're scavenging for meat. That's how sad it is right now. Oh, my God, Simple Meals run it away. Wow. At least we have packaged survival meals in a pinch, okay? But... and then cook. Get some fresh food. Winter's all about preparation. And how well you get through that initial beginning is like really just preparing for your first winter before things are fully automated, you know? All right, noxicycline, boom, baby, we got it. Now, what do I want next? Maybe my Let's do microelectronics. We can start getting like, um, or hydroponics. Let's see if we can get hydroponics. Geothermal power is huge, but will also allow us to power our base a lot easier. Let's do hydroponics. It's a pretty short research. And I'll make a small area to grow a little tiny bit of food all year round. I won't be able to build very much, but we'll build a little bit. Which is all about surviving. Like, sometimes I think people feel like if you can't lay out the end result of what you're trying to build, then you don't build it at all. But the truth is, like, you got to do what you got to do to survive. So if that's a teeny tiny little one, that's better than none, right? So, like, these are, these are people we're dealing with. We gotta, they gotta have something, you know? justify wrapping things up for today in preparation for what may come. We've got a pretty good setup. A couple heaters and a fire keeping us passably warm. We have enough power here to, to keep our place going. Although, 
I said geothermal, but then I don't even I don't even see any geothermal vents. May not even. Oh my god, I don't know what I'll do if we don't have any geothermals. Oh, there's one far away. Right, that's eh, not too bad. But see, they're all across water, which is kind of a pain. So what I'll have to do eventually is build a like a double wall to protect this trap around it. All right. Um, a bridge to get across, run the power and, and run a, run a protection. Usually like when I run power across a long way, I like to hide it underneath a wall so that they can't just hit it and kill the power to my whole base. But I envision this base kind of filling out this middle area here. All right. And we'll use the natural river and the rocks and, and the water, this swampy area around it as protection. So we can kind of expand out, and these these are these are my light walls. Okay, they're trapped. They can still walk through, but that's kind of the point. They'll get up all up in these traps. Um, they'll tend to avoid water because it slows them down, right? And if they did want to go across it, then we'll be sitting here ready to pew pew while they do it. Um, but I can eventually build a power plant here, but that's going to be a big ordeal and i'm glad i built a little bridge across here because i this is where i actually want to start mining um for raw stone basically i thought it was gonna have to be over here this will be a lot more efficient and safe um and we'll expand this out into our farming and animal area you know seems like a pretty decent start now my barn is tiny and not nearly big enough for the animals that i have um that's gonna have to be expanded Eventually, maybe this will become the barn, this area, and maybe this can be my little prison. Although I don't like having a prison attached. Maybe I'll put them, I don't know, we'll, we'll look. Definitely gonna have to build some more bridges. I need to be able to get around my own area better, you know, but you just have to be careful because if I can use it, so can the enemy. But so far so good on the traps. They all seem to be working well. We've got sewage right here. Got a nice sewage outlet, so we don't have to worry. Oh my god, I gotta get rid of that stuff too, though. They literally had to empty. Can you can you haul it? Here, check it. Check it, check it, check it. Um, waste. Yep, just like that. Bam. That shouldn't be a problem now that we have an actual thing draining it, but yeah, this is gonna have to be removed. Dang. Wow. I could burn it. I could put a little... Yeah, but I can... As I mine that out, we can we can do different things, you know? We're doing good. I'm gonna let him clean up this last bit. So, yeah. Thank you guys, as always, for being a part of this. Hope you guys are enjoying RimWorld. It's crazy because the my numbers are down, right? My numbers go down, but I also I can tell when people are enjoying what I'm playing, and what I'm doing. Um, it's just different, you know. It's just different. This is a totally different type of game, and it can be a lot of fun or it can be really frustrating and kind of whatever. But I personally find it to be an immense amount of fun. It's got to be like I said, if I could only play one game for the rest of my life, it would be RimWorld because. It's different every single time. All right, go back to hauling the fecal sludge. We're not done yet. Um, but thank you guys for supporting this video, supporting the stream, supporting my channel. You guys like the videos so much. My my ratio of like views to likes is so good, and I have you guys to thank for that because you you do what I ask. Um, so thank you, and please continue to do that. It really does make a big difference. Let me see if I can get a boy up here. I'm gonna save. All right, guys, we're saving. We're good. We're gonna be fine. Let me see if I can switch over and we can do a little pupper mission on the way out. Let me get this boy. Come here, boy. Yeah, come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Oh, got him. Oh. Oh. A hearty cheese, this boy is. He's a hearty cheese. This boy come to stay with his Mima for a few days, and I just love it so much. Mm. He's so good for the stream, aren't you, boy? Yes. Everybody loves this boy. 
He smells so good, too. His mama gave him a bath before she dropped him off. Oh, I love when he smells so good and clean. The best. Oh, look at them toe beans. Look at them. Mm. If this doesn't make the rest of your day wonderful, I don't know what will. Oh, he's kicking his foot so precious. Hi. This boy's so sweet. You guys are very welcome for the stream. I'm so happy I get to do it. I love playing RimWorld for y'all. It's, it's it's the best. RimWorld's not just a great game to play. It's a great game to stream. Because it gets people invested in, like, it catches you off guard. Like, you're just not ready for it. And then when tragedy strikes, you don't realize how much it affects you. Like, you just can't. Like, until you've experienced that, that like, oh, it's crazy. Um... And, and I've hardly played a game where I did not have some sort of tragedy coming out of the first winter. Because it's just so hard. It's so hard to be ready and prepared. And granted, the forest I'm in is it's very lush and there's a lot of supplies. But as you guys saw, the animals just disappeared. You know, that could happen. And it's like, I don't know why, but right now it's like, it's pretty slim pickings. So hopefully, uh, I am planning on streaming tomorrow. That's the plan. Uh, hopefully that stays the same. And I will be playing RimWorld. Usually if I start a game, I pl I'll do, I'll finish it. I'll finish the playthrough. If it gets cut short, sometimes I'll play another one. Usually though, after it's done, there's something else that I want to play. I use RimWorld as like a palate cleanser a lot of times for games, you know? So, um... So that's what we're going to be playing. So if you enjoy it, there's going to be more. And actually, if you just are like dying to watch more of it, I have... A whole RimWorld playlist on my channel you guys can check out. Um, those are some of the first streams I ever uploaded on YouTube. So you want to see like some OG streams, you can watch them there. Also, they are not edited. They are just the raw I hit record when I hit start streaming and I would just upload them straight like that. And it was, it was great. It was low effort, but also I'm really glad I did it because I have them now. So... This boy, everyone says thank you, boy. They love you. They love you. Mm. All right, guys. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow. And we will we will uh, play more RimWorld and hang out. Have good times. Hang out on the back, the back porch with the fire pit. It's more what I imagined. We got the lagoon out back with all the lurkers. I love you guys too. You are the, you're the soul of the stream. And I couldn't do this without you guys. So thanks for being a part of it. Praise the sun. And I will see you guys.